Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. Now let's continue exploring our applications and uh, let's look on some other options we have it but before go to the line tab let's select that circle create one circle be sure you have at the point set to 48 so you maybe have a 12 from previous so just we'll type 48 press enter okay and click turn around go right over the lines rotation click on this line now press and hold down shift button let's rotate and lock it in horizontal position okay let's go down and let's create a shape and what I want to do I'll just probably use it in interpolated curve you can use anything if you want it I'll just go maybe select this kind of curve okay let's click validate so it will bind them together and now we'll select circle we'll go to the surface modeling and we'll go to extrude line click on this and click on our shape hmm you know what it looks smooth when we've done this before so what about if we modify it a little bit so let's go back to the circle and you remember how we select so we can go like this, select every other one by holding down shift or we can actually go to selection, select one over N, type two and it will select every other one for us. Let's press one more time, enter. So we have our gizmo pop up and we'll go over this yellow square, click on this and drag inside. So here we have it, our star. By the way, if you accidentally click off and you don't want your selection to disappear, remember you always can press Ctrl Z, undo, and it'll have it one step back. This is nice because it's working when, when you deselected something. So if you want to deselect back, Ctrl Z. Okay, so let's right now, till it's selected, we'll go back to services again, go extrude line. And this is actually look kind of what I wanted. Let's press enter. So we'll select this form and we'll go now weld them together. Um, you remember how we can close the top opening and bottom opening? We'll select object, we'll go to vertex modeling, and we go to click on a close. We have uh, these white outlines now appearing, so go pair top and bottom, select, press enter. And there you go, we close those ones open. You know what? Um, I noticed the top one is a little bit wider and bottom is not. I actually want to do it otherwise. So to do change this one, it will can go to utilities tab and right here we have it our selection topper, bend and the uh, twister. So let's right now to the topper select. We have this outline box appear. We'll go on the top anyway inside the box just click and while you hold down your mouse button just move slightly so here we adjust top and let's adjust the bottom and when you done you can click validate okay and it will kind of freeze the form well we also want a little bit twist and we can go again select twister one thing if you notice you will have a can select here before you switch the tool I just want to show you options from this one again we'll click here and just slightly start dragging and notice how object kind of twisting around again when we're done let's press enter and here we have it our model is twist the one thing what I want to do I want to make it a bit more complex I want to twist it here and I want after going on twist and because we're done already with here, all well, what we need to do is click on select faces, select top face, go to vertex and click on our sweep surface. And you notice we have it before it was twisted and now it's not. So we kind of go in expansion. Hey, click right here once. Let's click a little bit down. Move a little bit more. Right click with mouse. Expand it. And just double time click. So we're kind of done with this. Here we go. We have our 
kind of twisted column and sometimes it may be a little bit hard to see 3d with all the shade you can change in a way you view model so if you look on the bottom right of your screen right here this is where you can select with the mice so you go over and you have a simple wireframe you have a lead wireframe with a you can see how it's a little bit light applied to this you have a flat solids um so with ages smooth um, and smooth it's all with a wireframe. So this is actually normal, it's what we preview. I'm gonna check, you can see it. So we don't have a wireframe. And when we have it, here we have it, wireframe, you can see it. Okay, so also other things, we have it, it is um, lighting. And this is default lighting, but you can also apply a metal colored. So here will be kind of with a reflection metal one looking. So we kind of preview how the um, object will look maybe under a uh, different type of materials. It's not yet apply materials to them, it's only type of preview so you can see the shape and how maybe reflection will work on some edges. So select norm. The next one is the shadows. So we can select um, normal or omnicolor. This is actually normal before. Okay. And one more thing so I want to show you on the bottom. It's right here. And this is option. We can render use it ambient collision. Or and we can also save it the image. Many times what's happened when you first time click on ambient collision, it's a prompt you if you want um save it. And this is due to application maybe will be unstable or something other ones happen. So I don't want to actually save it at this point and then you can notice right now it is rendered for me so i can preview so let me uncheck this one and I click one more time and at this point you can see how you can have it with occlusion you can see more depth of the figure in this way so it will represent a little bit better shape for you to preview the one thing when you render this way this is just single frame so you cannot actually rotate and every time when you just even click or try to do it, then its image will reset to your default viewing state. Okay, the other things also what I want to show you. We look, well, let's go back to our utilities. And we look before on a tapper, we look on a twister. The one thing about uh, the bender, if you notice when I start to bend, it will bend more when you have it this different segments so when you have it one straight it doesn't um, bend very well so if you want to apply more flexibility here we need to insert additional um, segments okay and let's just uh, refresh what we've done before to add additional segments or split this we will go to um, vertex modeling okay we'll select the figure we'll go to the select edges mode and we'll go and select our the slice. Okay, we'll click over here. And you notice we have it now the yellow square kind of. And we can add, just click how many you want to add slicing around here. And when we complete it, just click validate or enter. So now we split it. And if we're going back to utilities. And we'll go to bend right now this one you will notice we have more flexibility and it's look much smoother edge right here so because it does apply based on how many segments we'll have it between them okay let's click enter validate and there you go So we was looking in this tutorial, it's how we can apply it again. Shape, how we can use it, some utilities, function, tapper, band, and deform. And how we can combine, and also was looking on different type of the preview our object. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please come visit us on the web, www.geekatplay.com.